All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, last episode, we got a bunch of stuff done. We got our ship fixed. We ended up going up to space. Uh, we get went to this, like, giant galactical space station ship thing. Um, got a bunch of missions there. That's actually one of the missions sent us to the planet we're on right now. And now we're at the point where we kind of do almost like a star fieldy type of thing where um you know you have you have your ship and then you can bounce around to different planets and like kind of collect like side quests and main quests and things like that uh but one of the main like i said one of the side quests sent to this us to this planet uh i ended up getting the information we had to get some like secret information for like one of the corporations to sell uh to this uh black market agent who's supposed to give us a um uh, like a key card to get into a space station but it was like ten thousand credits so you could just skip this whole mission completely and just spend the ten thousand credits but as you guys know hey, hey we're on a budget okay so i definitely didn't want to spend all my money this early in the game uh so we came out did the quest plus it was a really really dope uh area now before we leave this area i want to make sure that we that there's no more missions here so what is this why oh yeah yeah we actually had to go back and try to find other uh, scientists. Um, we forgot to look for his uh, his little protege there. So let me see here. Where are Journal by his bootstraps. Yeah, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go rescue Jameson, um, which is the scientist's little protege. Just head out. <clears throat> but I hope everybody's having a great night. Uh, dumped this game when I found out there's not many weapons and armors. I mean, so far, I've I feel like there's a decent bit of weapons. I mean, I've I've gotten probably you know 10 or so different weapons. I would say it has at least as many weapons as a as a Fallout game. Oh, so, oh, was it, wait, is this a different building than where I went last time? I think it is. Halt. Performing an area sweep now. Oh, I, I, where the hell is I, uh, was trying to get pictures for the thumbnails. And I turned the UI off, and I'm like, yo, why can't I see anything right now? Um, do, 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 do. My visibility. Shoot him in the blue square. So yeah, when you play games like Borderlands, though, I feel like there's so many gun varieties in Borderlands that it's it's almost trivial at that point. You know what I mean? Um, I, I, as long as games have a decent, you know, variety of guns, as in different manufacturers, like, you know, a couple sniper rifles, a couple handguns. If it's just like one handgun, one sniper, then I'm like, oh, you know, that's a little bad feeling. You know what I mean? There's no progression or anything for you to work towards. Get inside here. Uh, nice. Got the Clio Lab office key card. I have no idea what the hell that's for, but. an electric security blade so if you guys don't know i actually uh upgraded my armor last episode we're rocking this now it actually looks it looks kind of cool it's got almost got like the boba fett color scheme to it uh but it's like a really really heavy armor i like it a lot especially because we've been playing a lot of melee i don't know what this 
Or do I even need to crack that? Looks like I got the key card. What is the point of that? Maybe it unlocks that right there. We'll do it. Uh, lift, lock. Oh, there we go. Yep. Nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, I feel like when games add too many guns, like State of the Decay is a big, big culprit of this. Um, love the game to death, but uh, when they just add so many guns that there's not a whole lot of variety. You know, it's it's more for like flavor at a certain point. Sanitation and cleanup required. And it's like, yeah, you, they might have 30 different 9mm pistols in the game, but every 9mm pistol is pretty much exactly the same. <laughs> Almost one shot it with a melee. It's so funny that when you hit it, it like starts spinning. That's I think the knockdown on this weapon is just really, really high. So that's a big loop right there. I think we could we could have bypassed all this by that uh, doorway we unlocked over here. No, then it just seems like you could have go the same way. So I don't know. Uh, J Fit, yeah, I heard about the DLC for High on Life, um, but I heard it was really short. It was only like an hour long, and the issue I have with, with my live streams. Um, <laughs> Is when they're too short, it actually just kind of messes me up for the day. Uh, you know, I'm used to streaming for like three, at least, three, you know, two and a half to four hours is, is what I strive for. And, you know, an hour long stream is just not it. Um, but now I am doing a bit more videos. So there, there might be room to you know, kind of throw some of that short stuff in uh, for sure. But like I just started you know, getting into the flow of videos and stuff like that. So... Now, guys, I seen that. So we were talking about this before, and I don't know why it just never processed in my brain. But this game was made by Obsidian, right? Which is the you guys said it was the team that made New Vegas, right?
Now, is that also the same obsidian that made grounded? That's the part that slipped my brain. Was is this the obsidian that made grounded? Oh shit. Yeah, I don't know why I never I never put the two things together. Like we we talked about obsidian and I'm like, wait. And I thought about it earlier when I seen the logo. I was like, I wonder if that's the same obsidian that did grounded. That's pretty dope. That handgun we got is a bit on the underpowered side, at least against these things. Undead, so, yeah, it's funny you say that. Um, Green Hell was a game I played on the channel a while back, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it, but I, um, the one thing I didn't like about it was the enemy, AI. Like, you know, kind of like, you know how in the forest they have, like, the, the cannibals and stuff? Well, in, in, in Green Hell, they have enemy AI. When I tell you guys, I s never seen the enemy AI before, like in my whole playthrough. Just, I think I might, we might have spotted them once, but it's not like I ever had to deal with them. So I was like, man, what the hell's going on? So I was wondering, like, man, I wonder if it, like maybe it was the difficulty I was playing on or, or what, you know what I mean? But I always thought about revisiting Green Hell. Um, damn, is that his assistant? Um, so yeah, I, I might, I might check it out. But yo, if this is his assistant, he's yeah, that's Jameson, guys. He's uh dead dead. Uh the spirit of Arizona kind of forces you into the I mean that'd be cool because that was the one part of the game I thought was very non-existent was just the, the human enemy enemies just were nowhere to be found right, let me actually sell some crap to this I don't know what level my helmet I have on was. 26. Okay, yeah, mine, mine's pretty good. 26 armor. <laughs> Melee weapon mod. Uh, increase attack speed. Uh, uh, I'm still waiting to see if we get a better melee weapon before I go ahead and um, throw any mods into one. So, unfortunately, guys, Jameson didn't survive. So, not only did we not get this man his research, but also his research partner didn't survive. <laughs> I actually wanted to play, talking about Grounded, I actually wanted to play some more Grounded, man. That game is pretty dope. And I haven't beat it yet.
After the Broodmother fight, guys, I just got super addicted to the game and... I want to fight all the bosses. Oh, it's you. As if my thoughts weren't dark enough already. What is it? Well, shit, we, <laughs> we don't got good nose. <clears throat> Jameson. I didn't do right by him, did I? Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. It's more to care about than black marks and paperwork, brother. Not in this colony, there isn't. But success here will get me to Byzantium. I'll have recognition, money, proper facilities. It's the only place to lead a life of meaning in the system. Oh, sorry about your research. Sorry about your partner. Thing was, is we could have given him his uh, his research, guys. <clears throat> But that research that we had to give him, and the, the, the thing I like about this game is it puts you in some moral dilemmas. The research that he wanted us to get for him to kind of save his life and save his job is the same research that the lady sent me to get in order for me to not have to spend 10,000. So I could have been like, ah, oh, you know what, screw it, dude. I'll give you your research um, and then just go back and pay for it. But not nah, yet. I ain't about that life, dude. We had a, he just had to figure it out. So this is for companions down here, your leadership. Unlock the second drug mixing slot for the inhaler, which we got. Improve your weapons and armor. Uh, tinkering cost minus 50%. That's not bad. Your tech sounds like it could be pretty important here, too. Especially, and so if you get this up 150, you can get your mods back off your weapons 100%. You get up to 40, you only got a 20% chance to get your basic mods back, which kind of sucks. So we're going to go ahead and dump some more points into shooting. Hmm, actually. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, we're good to go. Ah, it's awesome. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, so right now I actually don't have a follower. Um, let's see, I think that was all the missions on planet, right? Yep. So we got that relay that we got to travel to. Distress signal. And then. Yep, and that's on the, sh the ship. And then this is for our companions. All right, we're good to go. So we can head back to our ship. Wanted to make sure. <clears throat> yeah, Dunkle, this game is... I, I, I absolutely blown away by... Uh, by how amazing this game was. Like, I, I I, just, and I almost didn't play it. Cause I was like, ah, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I'll check. Oh, hold on, hold on, where's that relay at? Here it is. We'll do the relay mission first. Uh, Because even when you watch the trailer or even look at screenshots of this game, it really doesn't do it justice. Uh, it, it, like, I don't know, it, it's crazy. Um. All right, so we did unlock these tier two. Let me see. What, so we got running gun here. We yeah, the screenshots in the in the trailer really don't do this game justice at all. Um, extra headshot slash weak shot damage. That's pretty decent. Plus twenty five percent quiet weapons. The hot. It looks like a apple.
Good. Can I have this one? Yep. Uh, Anderson, what's up, brother, with the six months? How you doing, man? Hope you're having a great night, bro. Um, I would like my quiet weapons, but we, have, we haven't figured out how to suppress the weapons yet. Um, carry capacity, consumable weight, health restored per kill. That's not bad either. Okay, so I'm going to get the headshot damage. Oh, wait, this is while using... Time dil dilation. Okay, so we got to remember that. Actually, we'll get this. Uh, Boost Nikki, what's going on? Uh, but companion wise, so far we got. Uh, we got Felix, um, Pravati, and Victor Max. All right, so we just got to this uh, this relay. Let me go ahead and get that mission set up. Now, who sent me here? To avoid being entirely cut off, they need to... Oh, yeah, 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 because they're gonna... They're gonna... Something with the planets and the gas giant is gonna block their signal. Uh, so we need to help them set up a secondary relay. Um, Should I bring it? No, no, we're not gonna bring a companion right now. Actually, we will, because I want to start working on their relationships and getting missions done for them. Uh, we'll bring Felix with us this time. Who's living in a relay station all the way out here? Shh. Robots? Oh, I have another. Oh, I didn't spend that perk point. Oh, no. no. Which one was it? This gives me more time dilation per kill. Is this at all similar to Starfield? Uh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> Believe it or not. Don't fucking shush me. I shushed you. The disrespect, bro. Uh, we're heading back to Groundbreaker. Yeah, we're going back to Groundbreaker. Lord. Some traps here. <laughs> Let's take him down. That's one down. Home how it's done. I'm trying to see if they would walk into these traps. I didn't have to engage that dude, but I would have just checked. Says 
Heads up, boss! I mean, you don't gotta call me boss every two seconds. Unexpected noise. No, let me see what happens when I use the shotgun if it's gonna flip him up in the air like it did the other. tutorial found a flaw in you during your adventures things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer taking of the flaws optional but doing so provides you with a perk choices i mean okay so found a flaw robophobia um auto mechanicals now give you the willies and when they're nearby you are not as effective as you should be uh <laughs> no? Yeah, the only quest we've done for Groundbreaker so far... Well, we did the quest on Groundbreaker. Like, we fixed the heat and, um... That was pretty much it. Um, but we got a couple of missions now where we had to go out, you know, get the... The information for the... Ooh. The janitor bot looks pretty cool. And now I'm doing this mission right here for the for their relay system. System alert. It's too low for that. So we need what? The relay control terminal passcode. Silencer. Also could have been called Speedy Bleedy. Password there in phrase journal. Right, we're gonna have to search the site, try to see if we can find a uh, passcode. We got speedy bleedy here, which is 214 minus the better. Mine is still better. Uh, Dawson, I did do that quest. I did hunt down the guide in the the bounty there. I haven't done the doctor quest, so that one is still I still have the that one in my log. So 
Where the fuck am I gonna get the damn terminal password from? Something in there, but my lock picking ain't freaking high enough. It's short two or three, like what three four points and That's probably the damn room. I got to get into let me just see if there's a uh, nope No mainframe in here, and I can't oh wait Why didn't that pop up the first time I came to it You guys seen it right when I walked up to it the first time it said uh I don't know. Whatever. Oh, did I get the code from the last body? Gotcha. Go. Okay, so now we're good to go back to Groundbreaker. I also wanted to get, there was a weapon that I was supposed to be able to get on Groundbreaker. That was actually the main reason why I went to Groundbreaker was to get the damn weapon. Destination reached the Groundbreaker. I had a companion quest I could finish on the ship here, I think, right? Yep. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? What's up? So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it, because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, but real sweet. I mean, how bad can it be, for real? She rhymed compression alternator with aches to meet her. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. The trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. I mean, hey. I don't know where it's leading yet or if I'm misinterpreting, I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. About the yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say she's cold. She's kind of just, she seems like she was raised like, I don't know, in a community with, with not a lot of people. She's just like, I don't know, got like a quirky personality. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I want to say she's cold. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that, right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... Who's Isabel? Come on, don't... She gonna play jealous now, chap? They were... Close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Okay. 
They were close. I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. She's going through it, chat. All right, so we're back at Groundbreaker. Uh, there's a quest to get Ellie on Groundbreaker. Yeah, I mean, I will, we'll come across everything as you know as we play. If I leave an area and like try to move on and I've like missed something like super super Oh, you could bring more than one companion with you at a time? Oh shit. Heard from the lasses down on 22 that you did a contract for sublight. Only one, a legit haul. Let's go have some beers. Oh, I gotta go through the main doorway, I forgot. All right, the lost hope. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Uh, better start slow with a beer. Oh, beer. I guess, yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain, I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Um... Enjoying a drink with your friends. <laughs> yeah. I guess we are that, huh? Friends. Friends give each other counsel, right? What do you think I should do about Jun Lei? Because I feel about as aimless as an automech with a busted nav chip. You want to know what I think? I think you should write what you want to say down in your hand. Always work for me. <laughs> oh. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. I mean, what did she write in the message? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lei still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want yeah, to talk to you. I didn't I didn't, time. I didn't want to get her drunk. Even about silly things, but 
I'm so scared. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? Listen, chat. I brought her on, on board. And, and, and there's a lot of baggage here. I didn't know I was have to play the date, the, the, the matchmaker. I didn't know I had to be the matchmaker. But she's like so clueless and like, you know, I got, I mean, I will, we could be a good wingman. We'll be a good wingman. Screw it. Um. Oh, there's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know, I'm not interested in physical affection. That's, well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? I mean, what do you mean you're not interested in physical affection? Like, what do you just want to be with somebody and then that's it? Just with them what do you mean captain so I should just be myself you sound like my dad it's sweet gosh I don't know that I got that in me Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Like what? I don't want to be that person. Don't want to be cold. I want to bring light to June's life. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Fuck it. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. This is our first time, Felix. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. All right, so we knocked that out. Um... All right, let's go find this damn weapon really quick. Oh, it's here in Gladys. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Yes, ma'am. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I investigated that distress signal. What's that? Speak up now. Uh, there we go. What'd you turn up? Uh, I found this fancy toothpaste formula. Here you go. These corporations, I tell you. Once they get an idea into their big, dense heads, there's no getting it out again. Can't imagine how I'll offload this. But waste not, want not, I suppose. Damn, she only paid me 3k for that. Uh, Martin McCallahan might be interested. Space Your Choice is supposed to be de developing toothpaste now. Well, 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 aren't you clever? Thank you, dearie. I might just follow up on that. 
are you positive? Honest to goodness. Well, there's nothing left, that's it. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys. There might have been there might have been other you can come stuff. Visit anytime. Um, there might have been other stuff there that I just missed. So if you're super, super thorough, you might be able to even find more information for her. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lei. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Ask the common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Makes you think that, lady. Those board folk are real prideful-like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony's not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw-up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. Are there people still down there? Probably. Every once in a while, we get these snippets of radio chatter. Edna shows them to me. Some man hooting and hollering about the light in us all. Claims he's transmitting from Monarch. But who knows if that's true. Might be true. Might be some new trick from the board. Anytime, sweetheart. You know right, what so I'm gonna give her the 10k. It's almost time for today's episode of the Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No. Uh, here's the 10,000. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? Uh, let me see what you got for sale. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Okay, so... She's got a level 10... Yeah, that level 10 pistol. Bypass shunts. Flamethrower. It's not any better than the one we have. Weapon durability. Yeah, so we don't we don't need to buy anything from her. I will sell though. So I dropped 10,000 guys, but uh, the money we made from her, we, we still got about 12K left, which is not too bad. So it says, I got this mission selected here. Acquire the science weapon. Another Hawthorne's log mentions in Gladys shop, look for old records. Apparently smugglers acquired. So I wonder if I got to get into her safe or something. Do they ever leave this office? For me to try to get the old records? Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I think I gotta get into her safe. Um. Oh yeah, you could you could pass time hey, by boss. sleeping. You need safe. a tour guide? I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Now, can you just pass time? Or do you... 
see here. Kind of an expert. I'm gonna be able to set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Let's see if I sleep here. I mean, how do you know what time it is? I don't, I don't care. I'm trying to see if there was something on the map that maybe shows you what time of day it is. Yeah, Dotson, it said that the mission says that I got to go into her uh, it says right it says right on it another Hawthorne's log mentioned looking in Gladys shop for old records apparently smugglers acquired several leads that way um the logs on how the terminal mention rumor groundbreaker scientists who bragged about a powerful weapon version for more details will be found on the station but and she has a safe in her office but I can't access it because they're they're standing right there. My comm center already got an update ping from the backup relay. I trust everything went smoothly. Smooth as it can go. Data. Thanks. Hmm, that's odd. The only messages in the queue are encrypted ones. Looking at the transmission logs, the relay hasn't received a single unencrypted message in the past 36 months. Must be on account of some new security red tape. Well, whatever's the cause, the board and the Earth Minister will see it sorted. Thanks again for saving my derriere. I secured quite the payment authorization for you from Chief Jun Lei. Try not to spend it all in one place. How much did we get? Got a lot of XP. 1200 bits nice what if we can ask well, the time I want it to be an end Felix Millstone nice to see you out of docking bay keeping your nose clean that's pretty cool yes ma'am been at least a couple weeks since my last nose related incident uh-huh I'm glad to see you in a captain's custody just try not to steal any critical parts from my ship I don't know what you're talking about. I'm always honest around Ms. Tennyson. I tell you to stay out of trouble, but I know you'll find it anyway. Whatever you do, just make sure I don't find out. I like that mindset. Okay, so she has nothing new for us. Now there was two missions we have. Um, not the. Ellie hasn't been able to get through to Jesse, but you could try. Oh, yeah. So we got this mission right here um, for Ellie. And then this one is in her office. But okay. So let's do this one first. There's also Sublight a secret on this ship. Organized and organized well, I don't want I don't want anybody to tell me anything to un, unless I ask. If I if I if I want information, I'll ask you guys. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? So if I feel like I'm lost or I can't figure it out on my own, I'll, I'll, I'll for sure be like, hey, check. Um, but until then, yeah, I'll just I like to, I want to just kind of figure the game out and play it on my own. Welcome to Sublight Salvage and Shipping, a legitimate business for legitimate consumers. You the one flying the unreliable? It's me. Money. Derek, thank it. you for the membership, man. Doors wanted. I'll Welcome take that to the family. Yes. Miss Lily has been expecting you. I'll unlock the door. Sure am. A few years back, they got me started on simple acquisitions. 
you know those latches they put on cargo bays ain't worth a damn? These days, I stick to HQ and look after Miss Lilia. Oh, I got you, Sheldon. So that safe just had what I got from what I paid her 10k for. Got it. Miss Lillian, what mission is that? Nope. This is something different. So you're the new captain in town. I was hoping you'd make your way to my office. Saves me the work of hunting you down. Lilia Hagen, CEO and Executive Director of Aggressive Operations. Like I'm guessing like you already know about Sublight, otherwise you wouldn't have come. I mean, I like I like the sound of aggressive operations. Not a word. Pity. My guy in marketing is about to lose his other thumb. It's nice to see the unreliable again. Useful ship. Hawthorne was my contractor. I'd recognize that leaky boat of his anywhere. Is Ada still at the helm? I don't know how many times I told Hawthorne to restore that smartass to factory settings. I have a salvage job for someone light on corporate ties with a reliable set of wings, but there's a catch. Does this make us sublight agents now? If you have a nav key to Stellar Bay, the job's yours. Interested? Yeah. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Who are we doing a, a, a drug deal chat? <laughs> now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Yeah, see? We'll be fine. Yeah, sounds simple enough. As long as my peeps don't get mad at me for like... Doing, uh, some shady stuff. That was like one of the downsides with Starfield. It was like... We're not gonna have to hurt you. Certain you companions, like... It seemed like a lot of... The companions actually disliked if you played the evil route. Like they were really, really, really bent out of shape about that shit. CNP pancake mix now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. Getting to the hospital, right? Can I use my, uh... It's got an ID cartridge. Oops. You trying to get us all in trouble? No, I... What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I'll look the other way. This time. It was an accident, chat. So, when I walk in here... My holographic disguise should activate, right? Yep. So your your holographic shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Um, moving drains the shroud's energy. When it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Uh, talk your way out of the interrogation. Reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Look 
looking sharp. There's a reason they got this place under quarantine, right? To the last rats is on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You hull-headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me this in them. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Open the door before I kick it out. <laughs> Open the door before I kick this shit down. she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Yeah, I got my refund for Kong. Oh, yeah. Wolf, how you doing? So what happened with the cough and this and what, are you going to really try to fake it? The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So I hold up here to lay low. <laughs> I do work for the board, actually. No, no. Um, ask me to help you. Um, so that's what I plan to do. What did you do to get you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yeah, we just used the holographic thing right now. I wonder if you can upgrade it to make it last longer, but I don't know if there's a whole lot of restricted areas in the game where it's, like, actually viable. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one, assuming you want to keep breathing. All right, I'll fess this part up, too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. I mean, I'm all, I'm, I wonder if she's a part of the Thieves Guild chat. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the med bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Oof. Okay, well, uh, what do you want from me, lady? Because we're not just giving her money or anything like that, chat. Oh, Wolf, thank you for the gift that I appreciate it, brother. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one mm -mm. even bigger than Ellie owes me. What do you mean square things? Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say Ellie is one, huh? I mean, as long as squaring things doesn't require me to uh, pay money out of my own pocket. Oh, yeah. Got the wife made homemade apple fritters. And that's why I just ate it. She was so good. Do I have the sci hammer science weapon? No, I don't have that yet. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly. How do you do? Huh. 
How might I assist you? Mm. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Uh, she's worth more alive than dead. For her under an... an oh, no. I'll pay it off for her. We'll just see what it, how much it is. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. How bad could it be? 2400 I mean that's not that's not too bad guys like I could easily afford that Charging that much for emotional anguish really I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. Nice one, Bedford. Everybody knows you were never engineered to have feelings. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Mr. Millstone. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. Oh, fuck it. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Be my guest. Ask away. Alright, so let me go ahead and dump... that up to 50 and then wish I could say it was good to see you Ellie at least you finally got your chance to square our debt that ought to make you smile for once huh nothing makes me happier than being even except being right that's nice, too. Yeah, I, I did what you asked, Ellie. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Hey, yo, we're getting companions left and right, dude. You really don't like own people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. All right, welcome aboard. We'll take you. You won't be sorry, though. It looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Um, probably head back to the ship. We got us a real sawbones. Welcome aboard, Ellie. So you're allowed to have two people with you at a time. We sent everybody back. Okay, so we got that mission done now. Um, talk to Dr. Wanda Dorset in the sick bay. Oh, is this the lady that got pissed off at me when I <laughs> that we paid off? Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? If you're here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Metal Gear Ryzen. Yeah, actually, I was con I was 
I was contemplating try checking that game out on the channel at some point. I don't know, though. We'll have to see. Am I going to try the Remnant 2 DLC? Maybe. Uh, I don't see why I wouldn't. I, I, it's just hard for me. I didn't even know there was DLC coming out for it. You know, there's so many games. It's, it's, it's so hard to keep up nowadays. Guys, it's crazy. Um, but Metal Gear Rising, the, that's the one with Raiden, right? Stalker Gamma? I, I don't know about Stalker Gamma. I heard that's like the hard version of Stalker uh, Anomaly, isn't it? We, we, we got to play a little bit more Anomaly before I jump into Gamma, I think. Uh, Wither told me to get you off his ass about your shipment. Wither says your shipment won't be coming in soon. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. I, could, uh, I mean, if she's going to pay, I could do them. Get him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out, though. The place is probably crawling with outlaws. Hey, sounds good to me. Yeah, so um, I see people comparing this to Starfield. This actually does feel a lot like Starfield, guys. It's kind of crazy, actually. Um... It's like a mix between like Starfield and Borderlands. As weird as that sounds, I, I don't know. You just... Salvage the board of Bandit. Okay, yeah, that's that's down in Monarch. That's for a faction quest line. Um, we'll do that when we get back to the ship. Yep. So this, and then. Okay, so I'm going to try this science weapon. I activate the mission. It tells me it's in this area. Remember Auntie Cleo, because she remembers you. Activated that. Medical big key card. This was a shortcut. In oh, another way we could have got access to the inside the medical bay. Doesn't really matter though once you're in. Right, there was nothing back there. Yeah, Starfield is definitely like the Outer Worlds. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's true because this game did come out first. Bunch of safes. Uh, so we need the rest, rest and go key card in order to get in that. We 
just got a bunch of shit. What if this is like pickpocketing? This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed? There's 40 something bits in there. For military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service. For employment rights, tax breaks, military discounts, health benefits, military burial, participation medal, training. This is Halcyon News. Stuff's worth reminding stealing. you that there's no I in news. No we in Halcyon. So, no when you mark her for life. the mission, she doesn't tell you. It doesn't tell you where to go. So right here, uh, acquire science weapon, and it says, apparently the smuggler acquired seven. Da, 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 da. Looking in Gladius shop. So that's what. For some old records. Bypass Sean. Bread. Bed. And then the only thing I could think. Carry on. Yeah. Watch where you're looking, buddy. Now, if I pick this, that's definitely going to start combat, right? If we... you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. You go to the bedrooms by the police station? There'll be a, a lot of beds. Doesn't make any sense though. Nothing is... See, I don't mind trying to figure shit out myself, but like, this mission is telling me to come here, right? And now you're saying bedrooms by the police, police station. How the hell do you even put the two together? Like, so you're uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. I got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? It means you agree not to talk for a very long time. Like, what points you in this direction? Echo! Shut the fuck up, no, dude. Nothing? Oh, well. Oh, these are outlaws. Okay, we can kill them. We just started.
Prismatic Hammer. So it's a science melee. So now it update. So search for clues. Hawthorne's terminal mentioned searching black market vendors on Groundbreaker and Fallbrook. Apparently he had success in the past finding rare items using such sources. Purchase old logs or data archives from these vendors might lead uh, clues where to find more of the powerful science weapons. Okay, so... Now we know... That we can go ahead and buy old logs from either the old lady. The hell, let me up. The hell? Or. Hey, Yelly, you wanna know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, right, if you're see. here for this week's Magazine Club meeting, you're a touch late. I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. So I, I could have bought it from the, she had this the whole time. So this is what we could have bought. And I guarantee when I buy this, right? Let's see. That's so now I can review that Hephaestus mining, um, Mining Majiggy at the captain's terminal, and it will it'll, it'll, it'll tell me where I can find weapons. All right, I'm tracking. Hey, that pad down there. All right, let's see here. Impeccable timing, Captain. I was about to watch the latest episode in House of Helen's Three. Okay. Um, Sir Havestus Mining. Okay, so now we, there's a uh, science weapon on Skilla. All right, so yeah, that's how you do it, guys. You get the little things, and it tells you where to go look. Now, do we got a we got a workbench on the ship, right? I'm gonna start breaking uh, more stuff down here. Uh, break down. Stuff's good repair wise. Polish those up. 
And then for tinkering, um, so now I can tinker things. Let me see. Sniper rifle, tinker. Do you want to tinker the dead eye? Assault rifle. It will cost 73 bits. And it will gain nine damage. Yes, that's so cheap. Oh, what is this? Whoa, 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 what did I get that? I don't have that. What, what? What the fuck? Where? Oh, one of you motherfuckers got it. Give it to me. Who has it? Where they at? It's one of my companion weapons. We got, we need it, chat. I need it. Something on your mind? Um. Okay, there we go. This. Come to her. Swap that. Me is swap. Nope, that's swapped to her. My inventory. Boom. There it is. I got this. It's 43 per shot. This is 25 times three. Yes. There it is. It's not as good, chat. It's it's like a, a little worse than what we had, um, it's like, but it, it, it's super dope. I'm gonna mod this one too. So we're gonna mod it with the weapon speed. Oh, it already has this mod. It says yeah, it already has the speed grip. Okay, then I could tinker it, tinker. Damage to it. And just keep tinkering it. Is there like a max tinker amount? I tinker my sniper. Five. Okay, so that one's kind of expensive. That's 511 on the bits. Um screw it. Um Okay, so our two weapons there are pretty pretty big. Pretty big. So we could tinker those. Yo. Ready, guys. Ready. All right, let's see here. Um, this the one. <clears throat> I said there was potential uh, out outlaws here at this station. Destination reached, Scylla. Go on, Tinkerbell. What do you mean, Tinkerbell? This doesn't not. What does Tinkerbell have a sword like this? Tinkerbell don't have a sword. She's like a little floating little green fairy lady. She's like this big. Now this is definitely like Starfield chat. Minus like the giant, giant, giant world. Clear. Some 
combat drones there. Got some primal hunters over that way. Need more damage. More damage. Not done yet, chat. I'm addicted to the damage. We need more damage, baby. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna tinker. Oh, 900 on. Grab that. It's almost five, it was a thousand, oof. All right, can I squeeze one more? 1800? So the cool thing about this is this does this tinker program allow you to like take weapons and progress with them throughout the whole game? So you don't like if you if you do find weapons that you like. I wonder if that does it increase the yeah, level 18, level 16. Yeah, so it increases the level on it. That's, that's that's pretty cool, guys. So if you find a weapon that you really really enjoy, um, you don't have to like get into that whole looter shooter like drop your gun every time you know you find something. You can just because I really like this sniper rifle, even though it can't be suppressed. Kind of unfortunate. I don't know. I haven't tried to suppress this one yet. Fast, dude. That's crazy fast. A couple primals here. Quick strike, A. Hey, how you doing? Might want to go up to the crew quarters to talk to the crew for companion quests. There's also a combat bot waiting for you up in the quarters. I'll definitely go check it out. And now, uh, quick, I seen the message you sent, brother. Don't worry about it, man. Um, I hope everything gets better for you, brother. Seriously. But it's good to see you. I uh, appreciate the love, man. And Hills of Silence, thank you, thank you for the super chat. You might want to go up to crew quarters to talk to crew for companion quests. There is also a combat bot waiting for you up there in the quarters. Hey, quick, I'm not going to get into detail or anything, man, but, um, Philippines, bro, nice. Um, it's cheap, really, really cheap. I've been there. I absolutely had a blast. I don't know if you uh, went over there at all when you served, um, but, uh, it it's nice, man.
See how we can... Yeah, that, yeah, that would be, that would be real, real tough. Quick, that's for damn sure, man. Uh, but I, I, it's definitely a nice place. So we got an outlaw sniper there. Um, so they're going to attack me on sight, these guys. That guy looks like we, uh, that's the guy we got to save, right? Might be able to get a little more distance and start ripping some shots. Which, like I said, if we had a suppressed... Shrugging off my injuries as I stroll away from another flaming impact crater. Also detecting constipation, hair loss, reduced fertility due to tight trousers. Recommend stimulant injection. Hair loss? You take that back. So this was the guy? Went well, right? Tremendous work, friend. Here I was readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Symptoms detected elevated heart rate, dilated pupils, increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. Different, chat. Victory sweat is different. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, Kenneth with a 17 months. The renowned space cadet, Brian. Once again in action. I, you know, it, it, is, it is awesome. And it, it's crazy how much I do feel like I'm back in Starfield. Just different. Uh, what were they after, dude? Meds, I'm guessing. Pirates love bits, and unlabeled meds are worth a bundle. Uh, so you're the guy we're looking for? The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? No, I don't, I don't know any Wanda. I wager she told you to say that, the sly old bird. I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automex are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. No, you're gonna get him back to her now, or I'm gonna shoot you in the face. I'll let her know her shipment's on the way. You ought to be thanking me. You're lucky you're alive, bitch. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. What does he mean he shan't? Did he just tell me to go, like, screw myself pretty much? Watch eight. Aether weight. Oh, I think that's the DLC I bought. Yeah, I think that's the DLC I bought. Okay, so we got her thing. That was that was pretty pretty quick and easy. I wonder if we should scout out the rest of this planet, see if there's any more quests here.
see a scrap mech. It means there's outlaws. Probably in the same area. Some stuff up there, too. Oh, stuff in here. All the bone. Uh, we don't have enough to lock pick that. See, yeah, so it's still not better than what we're packing. You will be feeling better soon. Is he t A shiny glowy green light over here to get my attention and then there's nothing over here. Looks like this place was abandoned.
Uh, do I think this game is worth buying? Oh, 100%. I didn't so, wasn't some of you guys saying this game's on Game Pass, actually? So if you have an Xbox Game Pass, um, I think you can get it for free. Obviously, at the price of your subscription, but... That the thing says it's sealed. I come in here. No. A uh, Mandy Bullier rearranger. What the? A science weapon, one-handed melee does thirty-six damage stagger. So what the hell does it do? I haven't been super, super impressed with the science weapons so far. At least the shrink ray. The shrink ray was really bad. It didn't even shrink anybody when I shot them with it. That was like the most disappointing thing about the shrink ray is it didn't even shrink anybody and i shot the dude like four times with it too thinking that it was going to really put in some yeah yeah no increased body armor and helmet armor rating against physical oh that's what we should have done we should have upgraded our up uh, through one of our armor mods into our our stuff Hunting Rifle Ultra. Like my rifle. That cell sound, um, was it Bioshock that made that sound or was it Atomic Heart? Can't remember, it was one of them. Damn, this is actually a really good flintlock. 48 times 2. Yeah, it's light years better than... Oh, you gotta hold it for the shrink ray? Oh, well, that would make sense. Why it didn't work for me. Tons of mods here, too. And these are actually starting to get kind of heavy. I mean, I got plenty of space, so I'm not super, super worried about it. Oh. Let's head back to the ship. Uh... Mission. So we got that one done. Um, and then we got this mission here. Space crime. So where the hell is this?
finally finished the Starfield series. Um, good to catch you on the live. How many dogs has grandma's hurt in the mid? So, listen, it doesn't count because the, the, the things people are saying that our dogs don't count. They're not dogs. They just got four legs and a face. And, 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 and you know, people are saying they're dogs. Ooh, okay, so wait, wait. This is Monarch. Um, so this is where we got to go for the main mission, too. Let me check my mission things one more time. I think I might go back and we'll drop off this. And we'll talk to Pravati right now back at the ship. Get rid of to do this. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Talk to Junle. I messaged Junle when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. <laughs> oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Okay, so that worked. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to dump... So if I get my sneak up to 40, that's going to give me access to pickpocket, right? And then if... So we're going to head back, turn this one in. Death George, what's up, brother? How you doing? All right, so now some of you guys said there was a companion upstairs. What? Yeah, hold on, bro. One thing at a time. Is it this dude? There's no response from the automatic auto mechanical unit. Serial number etched into the chassis includes the letters S A M. So Sam. What if I need some kind of Maybe we could ask Ada. The cleaning. Yeah, at, okay, so we gotta ask Ada. Like, she's in charge of the ship. She should know. Ada! What's up with that Hello, robot upstairs? Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Not yet. I guess so. Put him on the screen. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. 
If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Yeah, we're not headed into Monarch yet. We gotta go talk, turn this quest into Dr. Dorset. I wanted to ask Ada. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Here we go. Know anything about the auto-mechanical gathering dust in the janitor's closet? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Come and check Captain's log here. Oh, here we go. Search term Sam. First Sam is search. Uh, experimental note. Uh, do not forget you found a discarded sanitation and maintenance. Oh, okay, so that, that's where Sam comes from. Sanitation and maintenance. Auto mechanical and emerald bales, uh, scrap heap during your last job. Uh, should be not too difficult to get it up and running with a few key modifications. I can envision a combat capable variant. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Really? Uh, quick strike. Thank you for the super chat, brother. Uh, read Captain Logs. That's actually what we're doing right now. We'll, we'll have a clean, mean killing machine. GG. Uh, second Sam result. Removal of the set of, uh, the factory standard part Sud Steeper was successful delivery of a combat modified replacement part Acid Steeper. It's been delayed. A progress setback um, is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to, uh, but I do. And then third. I'm giving up hope on the delivery. The part is lost in transit, not turning up anytime soon. But good news, I heard it from a fellow who knows a gal, uh, who knows the broker who overcharged me for this information regarding the location of an asset steeper. I can uh, lich, lich, lich. What the hell is that word? Listen, chat. I know I'm an idiot, but I, I I've never seen that word. Flitch. Am I just saying it like an idiot? And it's glitch. Glitch. It's not getting any better, chat. Uh, it's, it's not changing. I'm just saying the same word over and over again. Yeah, no, no. no. Yeah, I mean, you you guys, you guys spell it, Filch. Filch. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 not. Yeah, you guys aren't making it any better. It's just, <laughs> it's still not coming, chat. It's, <laughs> it's still not coming. Uh, the part was sent to an old storage facility uh, in Roseway. Uh, I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. I'll pick it up following this. Okay. We could, we could go look. I've heard of like nab it. Um, nick it. Clap it. Steal it. Never heard of that word though. Um, do I 
Back to Roseway we go. Pilfer, yeah, yeah. Orbit above Roseway, Captain. So the acid steeper is going to be down this way. Back in Roseway, we are. That's going to be off this way. I wonder if we can get around here. Nope. Ah! Got another perk, too. Ooh, plus 25% movement speed. I don't know why I didn't even see this. So we'll be able to move faster while we're in slow motion. See, that, that right there, that's what people are calling dogs. Gonna find you. Shot. Got a shot. I didn't even kill that one, though. I don't know why, guys, but the slow motion in this game is just so fun. I, time, I, I, like, it's just, I think maybe that, that's what it is. Time slow is just, like, one of my favorite things in, like, any game. Like, it, like if I could, if I had a superpower, I would, like, my favorite superpower would be, like, moving fast. And if you look at, like, the flash and stuff like that, it, like, he technically moves so fast that he, like, can, like, slow time. Like, I don't know. To me, that's, like, the best superpower, dude. Like, it's, it's so good. Being able to just like stop time or like slow time to where like that shit is so OP, dude. And it's it's just if I could have a superpower, I, it would be that. One hundred percent. But I I would rather have over over super strength. Because the thing is, I, I feel like living with super strength has to be super, super annoying. You know what I mean? Unless you have, like, an on-off switch where you can have just, like, regular strength. Or, like, you know what I mean? Like, you'd have to, like, you go to grab a bottle of water. You know what I mean? It's just... But super speed... Or, like, slow down time? Chat. It's just so good. But even telekinesis... Like, I would be able to walk up and kill you before you even, before you could even use the telekinesis. Huh? You hiding?
back outside. So I don't know if, uh, how I'd, I, I, I would say super speed, guys. S super speed would be the power I would want. Not I got not not necessarily like 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 we're talking like the flash level type shit. Okay, here we pick up armory note. If you need to get in the armory and don't have the code, ask me. Uh, if I'm not around, check the front desk in the. Uh, the bio biotics lab. Wait, isn't that biotics lab where I went and searched for that guy's uh, assistant? Monarch is the best planet. Yeah, I'm excited to check that out. Robot. Plasma weakness. Getting burned too many times has made you susceptible to plasma damage. I don't... Why would I want to take 25% more plasma damage, dude? For a perk point, dude. Not happening. Five percent? I might I might I might have took five percent, but Oh nice! We got the passcode. Twenty five percent is a lot. Nanya, how you doing tonight? Just one more, baby. Let's sell this. Six sixteen six. So yeah, we still have the heaviest armor. Yeah. steeper plasma carbine The 
force below some uh, something pistol. Is that a science weapon? Horse pistol schematic. Uh, vision coming. Random name horse, which is not. Uh, it's unclear. It's pants. What it does. So we just got the plans for a force pistol. I don't know if that's something we can craft. Craig A with the membership. Welcome to the family. Thank you so much. Forty-six years old today. Hey, happy birthday, Nanya! Happy birthday, man! And again, Craig, thank you, thank you for the membership, brother. This is right now. Okay, so we got that. Um, and then this is on Stellar Bay, and then we have the main mission for Stellar Bay. So we'll head back to our ship, then we gotta go back to the big freighter. Twenty nine on December first, brother. That's there it is. Well, happy early birthday. We only got a couple weeks. Okay, install the acid sleeper. Issuing sanitation ticket. Error. Refill printer paper. Good work, Sam. Thank you. 
customer? Sam, merciless on germs. All Sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. Well, welcome, dude. Sam units live to clean and clean to live. Got a lot of XP for that. All right, let's see here. So we're going to go ahead and drop. that there and then drop points into because we gotta start getting our engineering up too i front loaded a lot of my points into combat so obviously we'll be we'll just be strong um but a lot of the admin -y, like sciencey stuff we're gonna have to work on that okay so sam units up and running um this one we're gonna do on planet we're going to go turn this one in right now. Destination reached. The groundbreaker. Being born on... Yo, I, I always Can felt bad. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about this, dude. I actually had a friend um, who had a, a Christmas birthday, and I used to be like, dude, like, that has to suck. Because, you know, you like... Christmas presents, birthday presents, and his parents used to kind of bundle everything up together. Uh, and I, I used to make them that sucks. You know what I mean? You go from having like two parts of the year where you get like presents and shit down to one, dude. That sucks. Yes, you caught me ruminating again. Guilty as charged. What's occupying your thoughts? Um. Any ideas where we could find someone who speaks French in this colony? I've been thinking on that. There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled Terra 2 some years ago. He's an expert on Bakonu. He's also who told me of the journal's presence in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. We should start on the Groundbreaker. It's where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra 2. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Okay, we'll bring him with us when we go on board. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. All right, sounds like a plan. Thank you, Captain. Yeah, well, we're going to bring him with us, uh, and we'll also do that mission when we get on board. The Empty Man. How long have I been playing? Today, we've been playing for about two, almost two and a half hours, but this is only my uh, third episode of this. Have either of the assault cruisers ever been? This is it. Security. I can check the departures registry to find out which crew chi- I mean, the scholar shipped in and out with. I mean, we just walk in here and do that, bro? Like, what the fuck? Okay, I got restricted axe, so we activate our face shield. Keep your sights up, friend. What was that? Great work. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Need to 
Just don't make more paperwork for me, all right? Nicely done. There it is. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. That's it. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Got it. His name is... Reginald Cheney. And he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit cart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. A lot of stuff. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Another mission bringing us over to, uh, to Monarch. Oh, it's nothing. I suppose I really didn't have much faith in actually finding him. Was a bit of a long shot, wasn't it? I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. Right. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Little else in this colony offers such a relaxing pastime. Guy definitely reminds so, me of somebody me from, uh, from Starfield. I excel at confessional listening. Uh, I'll send him back to the Will ship. do, Captain. I'll keep an eye on her. In the meantime, take care of yourself out here. Gee. All right, so we got to go turn in the doctor's quests. He talks like somebody from Constellation for sure, Jeff. Were I a gambling woman? I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Just pay up, lady. How much should we get? Okay, nice. 1500 but we'll take it. All right, so it's finally time to go to Monarch, guys. Um, we got a, this quest that's on Monarch. We have the Empty Man on Monarch. And then we have the actual main mission on Monarch. So we're headed, we're headed to Monarch. Hey, Wolf, you have a great night, all right? Get that good sleep, all right, brother? Here we go. Stellar Bay, warning dangerous, Cascadia landing pad. Hmm. So it seems like this, this one's in a different part of Monarch. We're sure. in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. What mission is this one?
We got a long way to get over to uh, that Radio Free Monarch. Radio Free Ori. I want to see what's on the other side, too. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Mark that. I'm doing good. Doing good. So is this the same... So we're somewhere else this time. Uh, are we still getting that SOD? So I was going to do it earlier, Paul, and then dinner and all that stuff got messed up. My timing and stuff. I had to go pick up my son. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or if I'm just going to wait till tomorrow. That way I don't like short you guys. Because if I did it tonight, it'd be like not that great and not that long. Like, So I think people might want to just. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be better if I waited. Okay, yeah, no worries. But this is the regional map. We we landed over here. We would have had to walk through all of that nonsense to get over here. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Oh, okay. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? I knew it. See, I made what you call a logical deduction. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, Welcome to Stellar Bay, home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Wait, they do sal tuna too? Fucking sal tuna, dude. Aw, don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Really, chat. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm not supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. Um, we don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. Uh, you're not ex what I expect. I know. I, I thought we were gonna come here. It's gonna be like a bunch of savage bandits, like like some Nuka Town type stuff, or Nuka World. Oh, that'll just make Mr. Sanjar's day if you tell him. The board makes up lots of nasty stories about raptodons and cannibals and whatnot. But that's all outside our walls. Mostly. So you're saying the board's been lying about this place, dude? Oh, sure. It makes Stellar Bay sound like a rotten place, but it's not so bad. Get a good breeze going, and the sulfur smell mostly covers up the fishy smell. Anyway, Mr. Sanjar's got lots to say on that subject. Kinda goes over my head, though. I'm gonna have a look around, bro. Mr. Sandra will be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? I got you, Grim. Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? I got this Rizzo's Rangers Tossball poster coming in on the next sublight shipment, signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Poster sounds pretty valuable. I couldn't really say. I'm just a fan of the game. 
But the fancy collector types say the more people see these things, the less valuable they are. And I figure my poster has been passed around by more than a few people by now. Thanks a bunch! Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. Alright. So this one's actually right here in town too. Let's go check out this passcode mission. Velma seem out of sorts to you? She's always cranky. No, I mean, more than usual. Good enough. I made it a point to stay. I have no clue where the hell this is. It says passcode, and it's unless it's telling me I gotta leave. Oh, it might it might just be saying I have to go outside of the uh of the town area. Yeah, so we just gotta go out of one of the exits. Crumpled note found on the corpse of a st Stellar Bay. Okay, so we got the missing passcode. That seemed pretty, pretty easy. Now we just got to go link up with Catherine. Wrapped mask and painted eyes, right here. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. Why would I want any of that, dude? I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. She works for Sanjar, at MSI. She's also Stellar Bay's biggest collector of canid incisors. And I should know, because she buys them from me. Oh, good. Celia hasn't come by in a few days, so I haven't sold much. Okay, yeah, so he just sells this stuff. It's actually quite expensive. Manti Queen Chitin. Right now, okay. Sir, please, I need your help. I can pay. Agnes. Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. 
Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. Look. Child's missing lady? Oh, I just knew you were a good person. Agnes, I said, this is the man to save your little Tucky. And I was right. He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools and poisonous plants, but he didn't listen. Please, it's, man. won't you go and find my boy? The last guy I went out and looked, it, it, it didn't work out too well. But we can't say no to Thank you. help him find oh, a kid. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouth. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. That's my kind of lady. I'll punch him right in the fucking mouth. Let's do it. Okay, so Catherine is all the way over here. Um, little Tuck. Little Tuck Tuck is right here, so he's on the way. And was there anything else? Okay, and then uh, the empty man mission's actually over here too. Once I get another fast shovel point unlocked, we better bounce back and forth. Guys, don't me finding little kids. Yes, they know to that. We gotta find people's like we gotta find the family. Alright? Little kid out here in this dangerous ass wasteland. We can't be having acid pits. Marauders. It's a dangerous place. Better shot.
Did that old lady said there was people here like trying to indoctrinate their kids, like steal them or whatnot, or convince them to leave the Indo whatever to people? Like probably some kind of cult. Permanently crippled. Minus 30%. What? Who would ever take that? Amber Heights. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. Wait, the... You offer me a pamphlet you don't have? I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom! This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. Wait, is this the evil people I was supposed to punch in the mouth? No, what about the Raptodons or Marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. Your boss or leader, uh, you have a boss or leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. He taught us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Uh, before I, I'm uh, looking for, oh, well, let's find out about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. She, well, she's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Graham's place is in the large building straight back. Zora's sometimes there talking with him, but usually she's in the triage clinic next door. Okay. 
The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Okay. All I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like soap for all the same. a lot of people in here for me to kill, chat. It is a Tucker. It's a grown-ass man! Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? I should punch that old lady right in her fucking mouth, dude. That is a full man! Oh, come on. We like to be friendly around here. At the least, let me call you captain. Whether or not you command a ship, if you've found your way here, you must be a leader type. So then, captain, welcome to Amber Heights. Oh, and uh, call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? For Angie's little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Obviously. Haven't been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? I'd hope she'd accept my decision. So will you accept the decision of me punching her in her mouth? You made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. She offered a reward to anyone who brings you back to Stellar Bay. Let me guess. You're here to collect it. Well, I can tell you right now, it is not gonna happen. I won't go back. My entire life, she locked me in Stellar Bay because she was afraid. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. He is older than me. I thought I was going out searching for a damn kid. He is 42. That's a grown ass man. My persuasion and intimidation are high enough. So what do you want me to do about it? She'll keep sending people to look for you. <laughs> You're going back to Stellar Bay one way or another. So what do you want me to do, bro? Because I can go back and slap her up. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. You know, that might just work. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. Uh, well, you better pay up, dude. I'm not doing this shit for free. If we do this, I'll need some proof that it was your body I found. <laughs> you want to fake your own death to avoid talking to your mother, dude? I know it sounds extreme, but I can't go back. I just can't. This is the only way I can think of to be free. You're okay with her thinking you've died? Don't you think that'll hurt her, bro? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? Bro, she ain't gonna move on. If we do this, I need some proof that it was your body I found. Oh, right. Uh, uh, I guess you could take my daddy's ring. I've worn it ever since he died. Mama would recognize it right away. You take this back to Stellar Bay. Tell my mama I died and you found that on my body. I know it'll be hard on her, but it's the only way. Feels messed up, dude. Poor mom.
speech there. Never seen you before. Over here, dude. You say it like it's a problem. Not for me. Maybe for you. Come out here looking for some better life, kid. Just passing through, bro. Good on you. Make a little money, move on. Don't get killed out there, kid. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. What's your story, dude? It's pretty simple, kid. I sit at the bar, I drink, I mind my own business. That's it. You said you've been around the whole moon. You must know a few things. The only thing I got to teach is get the fuck off T1. Or whatever they're calling it this week. Anybody with half a brain could tell you that. Look. You want to buy the drinks? I'll do my bit to keep you entertained. Just don't ask me to dance. What happened to you here? A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? There might be a job in it for you. All right. I used to run with a squad of mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Thing is, I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. Oh, sure. I was with them when the corpse were leaving Monarch. Hell of a time, that. We split ways around the time this twice-fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, I got myself some fond memories. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. Okay. What if they're still alive, though, dude? Yeah. I'll be glad for it, but I ain't stupid. This planet tends to get people killed. I just want some closure. I'm getting on in years, kid. Eggs ain't working like they used to. Sulfur burns a little too long in the lungs. This joint's looking like my last home. Thereabouts. Okay. Appreciate it, kid. I'm marking an outpost on your map. We spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Here's a key for the door. Got it. FEM, how you doing? So there's the med place where we can find Zora. It ain't right. And then the main dude was in there, I think. So she must be in the main building then. Star? No. Hold on. Queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. Looking for some work, dude. I'm told you out of pamphlets. That's a shame, dude. <laughs> ah, yes. 
The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Well, they just recycle the pamphlets. Now, why have you come? Looking for ways to help out the people here? Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Indeed. But first, we need the parts I ordered. Will you aid us in our cause? Wonderful. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is I wonder is if we could eventually get into the runes they were just talking about. rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. All right. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges? Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Uh, get high capacity cartridges or extra supplies from cart. Yeah, so I'll definitely buy the food and shit. Like, the, that dude's an idiot. Hey. Hey. Now, that wasn't the same lady that we... No, Catherine. Okay, so... I was like, the name's kind of... sound. I know they're both from MSI, so her name was Catherine. No, no, no. Catherine is the other lady. What was the name lady from MSI I had to meet up with? Oh, here it is. Celia. Yeah, it started with a C, too. Increase about the amount of ammunition. That's not bad. Um, so we'll increase the amount of ammo this has. Okay, and then So it has the, in the exacto site. Good enough. All right, so we got the plasma carbine here. Um, plasma launcher, the assault rifle. I'm trying to find another weapon type that I could that I want to use, but I don't know exactly which one I want yet. Is 
Like the shotgun's okay. You know what I mean? It's not like it's the greatest, but. Tinker. Wow, this one's cheap, only 69 bits. Five. Three. 400, 900. I love this game. This game is freaking awesome. Wait, 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 wait. Can you tinker your armor, guys? You can. Get our get our armor leveled up too. Now we got perk points. Um Give me health per kill. Okay, so let me see what missions we got going on. Uh, so now we can fast travel back to this point, which is awesome. We got the commuter quest here, which is. I wonder if this pistol is going to hit any harder. Yeah, I wanted to suppress a gun, but it seemed uh, that you have to have a specific gun type to do it, and I don't know. Let's see how this hits. The non armor dude, it was pretty good. It's all right. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. <laughs> Just no one tells me to saw it off. Just stabs him in the neck. 
Uh, what's going? Uh, really, dude? I, I. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? I'm supposed to meet someone here, dude. Right, Carlotta. Yeah, she's inside. We got first rights, though. As soon as we fix that generator, she's ours. Why are you after her, dude? You'd have to ask the boss. I just know she wants Carlotta voided. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why's that now? But, yeah, right, dude. I'm not paying him 3600 I'll shoot him in the face. All right, you gonna saw it off already? Bro, will you top, so, stop telling me to saw it off, dude? Just wanna know what's going on, bro. We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? What are you, why are you out here fixing a generator in the middle of nowhere, dude? Why are you asking me questions instead of sucking sulfur? Get out of here! Turn Niles into a puddle of goo because he was talking that cash shit. Dealt with the we, we we took care of business. Uh so if we had fifty five hack we'd be able to be able to do that. The sublight squad is gone. Relax. I've been cooped up in here for almost two days. Who are you, anyway? Rand sent me to collect the supplies. Sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, 
I'm not risking my neck anymore. Arlotta. The helmet. 21 armor. 30, yeah, mine's 38. Upgraded, though. It's 29 base. Yeah, that's not bad. Hold on. This this one's definitely and it's got plus three persuade. Hold on to that. Thanks for clearing out those goons. Please don't kill me next. Graham ordered rollers and wetsits, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Uh, optional, get high capacity cartridges or extra supplies. So let's get the extra supplies. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna take everything you have. <laughs> Why did they, why did uh, Sandra ban you from working with the You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Where will they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. So I didn't get the mags, we got the food. I wonder if that's gonna piss him off. I'm telling you, the Van Noys are fine. Bullshit, Graham. They don't just abandon orders, and they weren't at the ruins. Where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them? They're on a very important. Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. Got your rollers, the rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? Uh, she isn't. Sandra declared a stop sale and goods to the Arcanus. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sanja, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Vanoys there, didn't you? 
Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham. We needed them in the ruins. Our people died out there. They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. Could have sent them after back in Zora, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Van Noys are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. Graham ain't gonna, he ain't gonna make it, chat. He's a fucking idiot. The way he runs things. He's so worried about freaking preaching his little gospel or whatever that he's risking people. So we're going to achieve Zora's team. That's optional. We're definitely going to do that. Repairing the printing press will be secondary. See where that other See. Yeah, this is all actually just a side quest. It's over on that side. Or it's a faction quest line. was another mission down this way, right? Yeah. Some kind of injury? Okay, so it's three more seconds. Thank you. 
Damn. Sentry Saber Mark II. Pretty good damage. It's still not... I mean, this blade we have is pretty good, I think, right? 284, level 18. Yeah, it's pretty good. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities? If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. Damn. Where, what is this place, bro? Guess it's true. Fallbrook really is the best kept secret in all of Monarch. Excepting the Borst Factory secret ingredient. We're a leisurely stopover for the more adventurous spacefaring traveler. Understand? Um, no. Man, oh man, it has been a blue moon since I had to break out the hookumspiel. <clears throat> Allow me to paint a picture in your mind. A parcel of pure paradise nestled beneath a waterfall within a mountain. We've got activities of leisure. We got proclivities for vice. We got booze and bets and non-communal beds. Sublight owned and run, so you know you're safe while you're breaking the laws. Check in at the saloon to start spending your bits now. I am here to anticipate and facilitate your needs, patron. Was that man describing what I think he was describing with the, the waterfall in between two mountains and all that? Or is, or, or is he just talking funny? You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Uh, yeah, ammo is pretty... Pretty, uh... Easy to come by in this boot. Uh, in, in the early game, maybe not, but once you get going, yeah, you just got tons of ammo. Tons of ammo. Uh, you know where she is or not, dude? She's, she's not, but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. Uh, word to the wise. Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. Okay. Tell me about the amenities. No reservation, no problem. Day trippers are always welcome in our saloon. Straight back and to the right. If you hit the falls, you've gone too far. Check in with Ms. Malin. She'll set you straight. Oh, maybe maybe he was talking about an actual waterfall. See how, how nasty, chat. I'm always thinking about nasty stuff. Want to make a run with me to Stella Bay? Boss lady told me to take the night off. No, I'm B. Just got back from delivering to that house with the strange family. The ones that always smell like raw meat and got splotches of blood on them? Yep. Oddest thing, they started ordering cans of Borstwurst, but only if they come from the CNP factory. Makes you wonder what the secret is. Keep walking, Rung Leech. What? You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. 
What's your order? Okay, so before we even get dug into this, I want to finish it because the thing is we're going to start jam-packing it with too many quests and I'm going to get kind of sidetracked. I had to come here for uh, this mission to track down Regal Casey or whatever. A Regal Cheney. So we're gonna, we're gonna obviously gonna come back here. I unlocked it as a fast travel point, so we'll be able to come back here easy now. But yeah, we got a, a mission down the road here for the guy in the bar. And I, I kind of want to keep everything um, organized because if not, then I'll have quests all over the place. I'll forget. And it, yeah, my brain works. I get I get conflustered. Uh, but we're gonna end it here, guys. We're gonna end this episode here. I, th I really, really appreciate everybody for coming and hanging out tonight. Uh, I'm having a blast with this, and I'm, I'm I'm hoping you guys are still enjoying the game. It seems like a lot of you guys are, so it's good. It's it's freaking awesome. Um, there's there's some things about this I like even more than Starfield. It, it's it feels good, guys. It's uh, it's got you know that same like it, like I said, the best way to describe it. I don't know. It's like a mix between like like a Starfield and like Borderlands. Um, it's not as like sterile, I guess could, you could say as like Starfield because Starfield's awesome. It has great quests, amazing planets and things like that, but it, it, it feels more like sterile. If that makes any sense, you know what I mean? Like, like, like a really, really clean hospital room with really nice equipment in it where this game's a little more, you know, messy it's a little more like i don't know you, you know what i mean guys it's got some flavor to it you know what i mean yeah bland But no, this, this is definitely a fun game if you've never given it a shot and you like you know those bethesda style rpgs um, definitely check this out. It is, it's a ton of fun. It definitely is a ton of fun. I've been enjoying the quest so far. I've been enjoying the characters so far. The dialogue's been pretty damn good. Um, the weapons, the upgrades, we just figured out about the upgrades and things like that. I'm still confused on how, like, the suppressors works because it says you need an earth-like caliber, so I don't know exactly what that is yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. Uh, but thank you again. Uh, remember, if you guys want some more of this, all you gotta do is smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. And uh, I might I might drop a video here because uh, it is quite early. I just noticed. Uh, I might drop a video here for you guys to watch. Uh, but yeah, thank you again. I hope you all have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.